Hi, this is JD of Tying It All Together. This weekend, my muse, Kristen, and I are heading out of town for some much-needed relaxation. More truthfully, we're celebrating the completion of Paracord Project Inspirations, my next book. Look for it in stores and online this summer, as of June 30th. So instead of passing on a video this week, I decided to show you a segment from my interview with Storm Drain, one that didn't make the original cut. The segment reveals a secret, a big one actually, and candidly expresses a handful of thoughts and ideas I don't usually share. I hope you enjoy. See you next week. I mean, here's the secret, the secret that I have, I don't know about you, but uh, I've tied so many pieces that I have a back catalog of going on, what do you say, Started, I'm looking at my wife who's behind the camera, uh, I'd say over 200 now, easily, ties I haven't shown people. And so let's say, hypothetically, I lose my memory today, I have at least four years in me. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. It's a lot of responsibility too, because like every week, you know, because I still have a full-time day job. I uh, still write the books and still want to spend time with my family and uh, having that responsibility is it, it, something I enjoy but it's a lot of hours man I spend just on the videos alone I'd say 10 to 12 when I think about the practicing the time then shooting the video then editing the video yeah for, you know it's people don't realize how much time it's you to upload lot, it yeah I've done that and then yeah the music score screwed then, up yeah exactly <laughs> Or I made typos and, you know... Oh, God, I hate those. I, I, I try to use spell check when I can remember to, but... Me too. I, I, just, I was using a 12-year-old keyboard. Oh, okay. I mean, it was old 9-pin, and I had an adapter to USB to use it. And I thought the keyboard was making the errors. You know I'm saying? Something wrong with the keyboard. <laughs> it's a keyboard! What's going on? I bought a new keyboard, and they're still happening, so it's not the keyboard. It happens. I've, I've, I've got to the point where I just let go. I Because I, I'll put a video out, and I used to take it down immediately and fix it. And now I'm just like, you know what? Today, this week, it's going to be spelled, instead of cord, it's corpse. <laughs> okay? So you understood what I meant. And <laughs> yeah, like, you got the idea. <laughs> you got the idea. But if I don't talk in mind, are... i, I got to make sure that it's not messed up too bad. Yeah. I'll add a little bit of text, you know. But I get comments, questions from all the different forums and instant messages. And I, I probably spend 30 or 40 minutes just trying to answer a couple of emails, go back and look up links for them and I, that's that's fantastic that's that's the other thing is is just staying on top of the emails i don't know how you do it like youtube i, I turn my comments off because you know i'm almost I, I can't i can't do that i mean really do want to hear what they have to say and i do and there are some situations where that's the only way they can get in contact with me but i'm overwhelmed to be totally honest with you i get a week hundreds of emails and the funny thing is i want to you probably get this too but i get i get thousands of comments because i've got over 300 videos and then I get you know, 10, 15 a video, and you do the math. Add, you know, I get thousands, and so like, how do I respond to thousands? I would have to quit my day job, and I would have to yeah, stop talking. No I would just have to con, and they get angry at me, and I'm like, I am overwhelmed. That's just YouTube, and then now I have Google Plus, and then I have Facebook, then I have Twitter, then on top of that I have emails, and then the emails are almost always exclusively asking me to work. They're saying, show me how to do this, yeah. show me how to do that, and they all, and I hate this too. Thanks in advance. <laughs> the assumption being that you're going to stop you're gonna what you're doing, it. you're going to yeah. do this. It. And I go, I'm totally overwhelmed. And I, I've got a book I'm writing, i got a day job I'm working. You so, know. Somebody asked me uh, uh, last night, they, they, they want to know how to tie the Teton. I said, that's not its real name. Oh, Somebody, that's Chum's true. renamed Chum's it. Chum's renamed one of my that's ties. The, uh, yeah. Feather bar, one it's of those. The it's the back-to-back -back -back feather bar. bar. Yeah. That's what I told them. I, I gave them the link yeah. to Fusion Knots. Yeah. Uh, and your gallery, here's a gallery, here's a YouTube video. Uh, I, he said he's been looking everywhere and he can't figure out how to tie it. He's, he doesn't yeah. want to buy one. I said, that's great. You know? I'm fine with that. Yeah, don't, you don't have to buy one. You can buy one, too. I mean, if you want to pay 20 bucks for something that you could uh, make six times with 20 bucks. Yeah, if you, you know. And, buy and, a, and 100 feet of cord and 10 bucks. Yeah. And 
keep wanting to fill me in. Like Seriously. That. It's, um, I think it's super rewarding, but I, and nothing, nothing against buying, buying material or buying uh, finished products, but I, I find that challenging at times, I have to say, is when people do take my designs, change the name, and then someone will say, great design, and then they say, thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's what blows me. Like, like I've always said... So that somebody just made the, the card pouch or an Oh, did they? No, yeah. They didn't someone mention me in it. Exactly. Right? Someone remade my, my, uh, my uh, secret compartment, Bob, uh, and it didn't And they take credit for it. They do. And I, I, I went back on a couple and I, I said, I when I tried that, that, I did this or that. And yeah. I don't going, know. You know what? I probably still have the idea from you, you know, thanks for that. Yeah. Know? But I had to put it in the comments, you know. And yeah. I didn't want to, I don't, I'm not it, saying I'm trying to take credit, I'm no. just saying, where'd you get the idea, you know? Is yeah, be honorable it? about it. Because my thing is, I'm very forthright that you can, you can, you can, you can tie my, my designs, you can sell my designs, you can start a company around the product designs, but just, you know. Don't rename it. Don't rename and it. That, or, or if you do rename it, which I've said is, is your prerogative, don't take credit for the design. So if someone says, nice design, Say, thank J.D. Lennon, thank Stormdren. You know, these are the people who designed it. Or, or somebody coming out with, I'm going to patent this so I don't, you can't tie it. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's a whole thing, too. Yeah, the, there's good folks. luck with that, though. I always say good luck with that because we're designing new pieces every week. So if you patent one of 5,000 designs, people just tie around you. You know, they just, because yeah. we, we give you options every week to tie something new. So if someone goes, this is mine, I go, it's yours. Knock yourself out. <laughs> then well, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a hundred more behind it. Yeah. That'll be free for people to sell in uh, in time. But yeah, that's that's always that's a little challenging is seeing that. But I, I've let go a little because we were talking about this earlier. I forget if we were recording at the time, but um, you do have to kind of let go in a way because <clears throat> the people who hold on to their material tight are the ones who don't allow their material to go into the future. And if you look at something like a square knot or an overhand knot or a or a uh, or a bowlin, or it's, you know the, the countless half, uh, countless hitches that we have. Uh, I'm sure there was an original tire somewhere on this planet. Uh, and who they are, who knows? <laughs> but but uh, we're still tying their ties, and yeah. I think a little piece of them. If you could if you could meet them, thanks. You know. Yeah, if you can meet them, yeah, if you can go back in time and say thank you. That'd be awesome. But there's a little piece of them still alive, yeah. in the hands of all these people who are still tying their pieces, and that that is, I think, a um, that's like a uh, uh, a gift that you know a part of yourself that that will never go away. Uh, if you inspire someone to like something enough that generations into the future will be tying that design, I mean that's like living forever. Yeah, it really is. But um, yeah, with that, you got any other ideas? I can't think of anything. Huh. If you're hungry, I got food downstairs. Oh, well, we should get something to eat. I I, I, I can't got, believe it. Right I got jalapeno. Crunchy. Oh, nice. If you want to make some, it doesn't you just have to cut them open. Dude, we'll I'm, not a, I'm not a cook. I'm an eater. But Dude, I, 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 love your, I love your posts about food. <laughs> I'm liking on those all the time. Uh, I, I'll get a, a can opener and a fork <laughs> and a can of ravioli, and I'll look at what I'm eating on. You know, <laughs> I, I look at on, on trying to imagine I'm eating what's on, on the, uh, the screen. Nice. You know, it doesn't work. It know. doesn't feel the same. Well, cool. Well, it's... Yeah, but I got uh, like fajitas. I got all the <laughs> stuff to make those. Okay, well, let's do that. Tacos. Let's or... do that. Yeah, we could do that. That sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm.